definitely for a chilly evening like like this evening, nice and wintry, some nice comfort comfort food, which is definitely a lovely risotto. But it's a, it's a different risotto. The flavour with some butternut squash, uh, which is a, a great uh, vegetable. You know, you think pumpkins, you think uh, definitely think butternut squash. Uh, from, from obviously from Ian's farm, you know, it wouldn't be from anywhere else. It's uh, looking a bit like a scrambled egg at the moment. Eh? <laughs> is it? Well, that's it's probably not, to look like not that. a good way of describing it. But that's what risotto, risotto looks like, that, especially when you've added some butternut squash puree to it um, and you're sort of finishing it off because you need it to be a little bit al dente, but um, that just needs a little bit more cooking. And with that, we're going to cook a little bit of um, some organic mushrooms, and they come from a, a company called uh, Fundamentally Fungus, which are um, in just, Stockbridge. Out, just outside Stockbridge, indeed. Um, two lovely ladies who. Um, Produce these uh, organic mushrooms and then throw them into the pan. A little mixture of mushrooms, just they're going to sit on top of our risotto. So if I saw those, if I saw those mushrooms dry, I wouldn't have a clue whether they were edible or not. That's always the scary thing. Well, that, that's the thing about wild mushrooms. But these mushrooms are, are kind of cultivated as well, which um, makes them really safe. You know, they are wild mushrooms, but they're, they're kind of grown in a very controlled area. Um, you know, you don't have to go foraging for them. They're um, you know, they're all, all done organically in organic soil. They're, they're done with, um, you know, pre precision, and there's, you know, definitely no no room for mistake of uh, getting the wrong mushroom on your plate. It's been a fantastic autumn for mushrooms, actually. If you go in the forest, but I think, as Andy said, it's always better to get them if they come from a cultivated, you know, to save the same thing. Yeah, and just to preserve the natural mushrooms in the forest rather than take them. So just talk us through, Andy, just quickly what you've done so far here. So in your one pot again. The, risot the, the risotto is just um, a case of. Uh, just, just cooking it. You can cook it a little bit of stock because uh, it does take a little while to cook. You know, it's probably between 10 and 15 minutes. You don't want to cook it too much, to it, so it becomes really, you know, the whole thing comes a little bit sloppy. You just need to keep keep the risotto, so it's just a little, um, a little al dente, al dente. So it's got a little bit of bite to it. Um, and what we're going to do is, we, all I've done is just cook the risotto separately in another in a separate pan. I brought it with me already cooked because we, you know, we don't make a, make a whole evening of this, but. Um, so all I've done is added the risotto uh, to, a, to a pan with some shallots, a little bit of garlic, um, a little bit of uh, rapeseed oil, again. We've got some chopped uh, butternut squash, squash in, which has already been pre-blanched. Pre um, and we're just simmering, simmering it away that, getting all the rice and the, all kind of getting to know each other, all the ingredients in there. Like I said, it's got a nice, nice yellow colour, the butternut squash is definitely yellow. Um, and in there we're going to put, we put a little bit of butter, or actually we'll finish it with a little bit of butter, but some, some Lyburn's cheese, another, you know, great uh, local, local, product that we're going to put in there just to kind of um, give is it some like great flavour. Is that the same sort of thing as parmesan? Well yes, this is it indeed. That's, what, that's exactly what we're doing. We're, we're kind of a, um, uh, using the fine uh, Hampshire ingredients that we're surrounded by. Rather than having to go all the way to Italy to get our, our parmesan, you know, Lyburn do a great old old Winchester cheese, which is which is just as good, if not better. And you know, it's going to be better for me because it's from, from Hampshire, which is going to give the same same effect as if, as if parmesan was going to be um, Doing the, doing the same thing really. I mean what we've got from Lyburn tonight, the butter that Andy's using is from Lyburn Farm and they're over over near Romsey and they actually milk their own cows, they then turn it into a bit into cream, they're all short of cream, they're always very short of butter as well because they can't produce enough and again this cheese that they produce, they sell it at various ages so it's a bit of a gouda type of cheese when it's very young and as it matures you can see the bits of calcium in there and that'll be quite crispy if you ate it. And, as Andy says, it's almost like a parmesan. I think it's absolutely fabulous that all the stuff is, uh, all the, oh, I must stop calling it stuff, all the food, all the produce is, uh, is like sort of literally from within sort of 10, 20 miles or so this evening. It's amazing. I will let you cook on that for a second. Okay, and um, how long do you reckon until we get out of our next taste test? Not that I'm desperate. Not very long at all. Not two, very long. Two, three two minutes. Minutes. And you're wondering what's going on. What is all that noise going on in the background? Uh, we've got Ian Nelson from Sunnyfields Farm is here. Good evening. Good evening, we're the boys who beat the traffic. Absolutely, they're fighting their way through the M27 tonight. And Andy uh, McKenzie, who is here from uh, Lainston House, it's uh, what we didn't realise. I said, how come you're not needed in your kitchen tonight? The answer is... I'm on my holidays. <laughs> your holidays. Here he is cooking for us at Wave 105. Where else would I rather be? You, didn't she, she does indeed. <laughs> so anyway, so we've, uh, we've got a um, pumpkin risotto. Squash, 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 risotto. squash risotto. Very similar, very similar. Same family. Same family, okay. Squash is taste nice. I'm still thinking of, uh, of uh, Halloween. Yes. Because I must admit, I did have a little go with my pumpkin after we carved it up. I thought we'd fry some of that up. It's not the best taste in the world with the old carving pumpkins, to be quite honest. It needs a bit of work doing it. It does need it? a little bit of the spices to make it, make it good. Yeah. But uh, so, uh, so uh, we're, not, we're not doing Halloween stuff tonight. It is uh, risotto with uh, butternut squash. Indeed. I'm, I'm going to serve this up now because it's all, it's all ready. So 
what we're going to do is we're going to put a little, a little bit of the risotto because it's something that's quite heavy. You don't want to taste too much of this, you know, or eat too much of it because it's very filling, and you just want to enjoy it for what it is. So right when you say it looks a little bit like scrambled eggs, because it does look a little bit like scrambled eggs, doesn't it? Well, from, a, from a distance. Indeed. Well, risotto, you can all sorts of different flavours. You know, you can add mushroom, you, mushroom risotto. Um, with, with truffle, you know, it's a very, very Italian way of doing it, but you can make it with watercress, you can make it with any sort of vegetable you, you want to, to, to flavour it or to colour it the way you, the way you want. But um, as it's the season for, for butternut squash, so so there it is in, in our risotto. And, and uh, Ian, you were saying about the different types of rice as well, because there's, I mean, risotto rice is a special kind of rice. Yeah, I was questioning Andy on the way over, you know, do you get white risotto, do you get brown, you know, should you be buying pre-cooked and... You know, Andy, you're, I'm sure yeah, yeah, as, as a chef, you know a little there, bit more. There are, there are lots of different grades of, um, obviously, with rice, but this is an arborio rice. It is a risotto rice. That, as I say, different grades, of, you know, sort of the premier division of the, and to the to the bottom grade. This is kind of in the middle, the arborio, which is which is great for making, you know, for, for making risotto. Is that the same sort of stuff you use in paella, or is that something completely different? No, that's a paella rice. That's a Spanish. Right, that's okay. something completely. Yeah, like I say, there's thousands of different rices with different uses, but um, yeah, this is some, something completely different. So on our risotto, on our, on our, on our lovely butternut bus squash risotto, we're going to put the mushrooms that we, we just sated off and a little bit of um, a little bit of butter. From just down the road, where are they from again? They're from, from Stockbridge, from a company called Fundamentally Fungus, and they're, what a great name that, that you know, already you're uh, interested mm. in when, they, when you talk about a name like Fundamentally Fungus. And on there we're going to put a little bit of, um, just a little bit of watercress, just to make it nice and pretty. And you know, that's a lovely, you know, w winter warmer, if ever I've seen one. So what we're going to do, we are going to hopefully by tomorrow, if I can figure out how to do it, we are actually going to, we've been filming this all night, so hopefully this will appear on the Wave 105 website uh, tomorrow. I've got to say though, the way you've done that, whenever I, if I cook something, it, it never looks quite as good as that. What's the secret to making it look that fabulous? Lots of practice. <laughs> Lainston, one of the key things is people put too much on, on, on plates, and when you see these chefs doing the cooking, it's not about piling up mounds and mounds of food, it's about thinking about what you're eating. And again, you know, Andy and people at Lane's and other fantastic restaurants in Hampshire, they're always picking what types of plates and dishes that they actually put the food on as well. So it's all about presentation. So if you're cooking with great food, then present it well as well. Just plain white plates or plain white sort of, these are like sort of bowls really, aren't they? Bowly plates, I'd almost describe Bowly, bowly plate, that's sort of half, halfway. <laughs> I'm trying to describe them. They're like a plate, but with a bowly bit in the middle of it. So anyway, enough talking. Let's do some tasting now. <laughs> First time. First little taste. I've got a bit of everything. I've got a bit of the um, watercress. I've got the risotto. I've got the cheese. See now, why can't I make stuff that tastes like this? Why can't I do that? That is amazing. This is also on our, on our menu at the moment at, at Langston, so you know, come come and try it down there as well. I was going to say, if you go to the uh, to the Wave 105 website, wave105.com slash Andy, as soon as I've sorted it out, we'll hopefully have the video of the whole of tonight on. I'm speaking with a mouthful again. Uh, we'll also put a link into Sunnyfields Farm uh, if you're coming down there for the uh, Cash for Kids toy pill this weekend and also to Lainston House if you want to see uh, where uh, Chef Andy McKenzie should be not working, should be on holiday today. I'm trying to encourage Andy to come down on a Sunday afternoon. Um, what to cook? Yeah, so if Sarah's listening at home, can Andy come down, cook some festive cheer um, on Sunday afternoon with some local food? I'm so, so divorced. So already, so you've already ruined one day of your holiday by coming in here. <laughs> And now we're just trying to blag you into coming on Sunday. I've got to stop eating. But I can't. Absolutely amazing. So Wave 105, thank you ever so much to uh, Ian and Andy for coming in this evening. I really must learn not to eat while I'm talking. Have you got any cleaners can, who can clean the studio? Can we just leave or um, have to clean up? <laughs> feel free to leave it. The trouble is it'll still be there same time next week. I have to be quite honest. Thank you ever so much for coming in. Like I say, all the details will be on the website, wave105.com slash Andy tomorrow. Hopefully, if I can figure out how to do it, we have filmed the entire evening tonight. That'll be there as well.